This is Pembroke's new solar array. Once it is put online, the facility will produce about three quarters of the town's municipal electricity. PTN recently spoke with town administrator Ed Thorne to get more information. It appears right now that it'll probably be operational sometime in the late summer, early fall. Um, it appears that it is all completed. And so now we're waiting on the uh, an agreement with uh, national grid and with the company to literally connect to the grid and uh, you know hopefully they'll be able to you know start uh, you know producing electricity and so that the town can take advantage of the project itself. Well there are a couple things that we get out of this. Number one we get a land lease which is worth about uh, seventy thousand dollars a year and we also have a payment of lieu of taxes which we're working on right now uh, with the developer um, to finalize the numbers. If they're not up and running on July the 1st, then probably we don't anticipate either getting taxes from them until the following fiscal year starting July 1st, 2018, or we're going to try to work out an arrangement with them so that they pay the next fiscal year's uh, taxes in the second half of the fiscal year starting in, in January of 2018, going through June th uh, 30th of 2018. So those are the two things. And then the third uh, part of this whole operation is that um, the town uses about 5 million kilowatts of electricity every year. Uh, two thirds of that is the school department, you know, with the large schools that we have. Um, the other two thirds is divided up among the water department and the pumping stations and the water treatment plant, as well as town departments. Um, I think town departments make up about 17% uh, and the water department makes up around 16. So that being said, uh, of the 5 million kilowatt hours a year that the town uses, about 4 million are going to be generated by the solar facility at Habermach Street. So almost 80% of the electricity um, that the town uses now will come from the solar, from the solar array. Uh, we'll be getting that electricity at a cheaper rate than what we're paying National Grid right now. So the estimates that we'll be saving over a 20-year period will probably range from about a quarter of a million dollars a year, up to 400,000, I think, by year 20 of the agreement. So I think that, you know, somewhere around possibly $7 million in savings over 20 years that the town will, will uh, realize uh, from this one particular project. And, and we're looking at some smaller projects now, maybe to, uh, to power some, some other projects in town, because like I said, you know, right now, um, probably 75 to 79 percent of all the electricity used by all of the town buildings will come out of Habermuck. So, you know, we have a little uh, window of uh, opportunity to have a couple of more projects in town. Uh, if you go back 30 years, it was a landfill. Uh, it was the dump, as people called it in town. And you literally took your trash there and, and literally dumped it either into a container or just a hole in the ground. And about 25 years ago, uh, the DEP went ahead, and, as, as they did with many other landfills, municipal landfills throughout the state, closed it and said that the town is going to find an, have to find an alternate uh, means of uh, disposing of trash. And back then, the Board of Health was in charge of solid waste. And so the Board of Health closed the landfill and then they went ahead and uh, contracted out with then BFI to pick up trash at the curbside. In fact, there were all kinds of ideas for using that property. Uh, they were thinking about building a golf course on there. Uh, they were thinking about uh, leveling it off and having some playing fields there. Uh, and then, um, you know, it laid fallow for a couple of years after the landfill was capped, you know, about six, seven years ago. And then that's when uh, uh, solar energy became more popular 
and uh, the town started looking at putting a solar facility there, you know, on the cap landfill, which became an approved use that DEP had allowed. And so uh, we've been working on that ever since. That's been the case with several other communities. I think uh, in this particular neighborhood, I believe maybe Rockland and Foxborough that I know of are uh, uh, situations where landfills were used for solar arrays. It puts that use on, on town-owned property so that the town not only gets uh, a reduction in their electric bills, but also gets lease payments and taxes, you know. So uh, it's, a, it's a win-win for the developer and for the town. They should be pretty much done with the construction probably by the end of this month. And so that they'll be mechanically complete, as they say. Um, but it's going to take some time for the company to work with uh, National Grid, you know, to go ahead and really do the connection there at, on Hobbamock Street.